Hi boys and girls, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about, yes, controllers, you're right. Um, first of all, uh, I wanted to say thank you to all my subscribers. Uh, I missed the 100 subscriber mark to mention that. Uh, I noticed that and it was by far too late. Uh, so now I'm going to mention the 150, which is a milestone to me. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Thank you so much for uh, writing to me, to giving comments, saying we like what you do. This is uh, very positive, gives me very positive energy. And yes, I know I will stay tuned and I will continue. Now back to the main topic of today, um, controllers. I'm going to show you a different variety of controllers, but the main thing I want to start off with is there is no the best controller. There is no that's the right controller. The right controller is a controller that suits you and your driving style best and which suits you, your driving style and the car you're driving best. Because that's why I, for example, have different controllers for different cars. It depends on how you like the response of the controller, how you like the braking of the controller. Do you want to adjust it, yes or no? Um, all this uh, should suit you and your driving style in connection with the car you're driving or racing right now at the moment. That's why I have different controllers, not because I have an awful lot of money to spend, no, nope. it is because different cars, different motors, different tires, different response, different electricity on the track, uh, slippery tires, foam tires, stronger motors, more electricity. This all comes together. And if you want to go for your own controller, test controllers, try them. Ask in your club if you have the possibility uh, and your, your colleagues will borrow you and lend you one. Just test as many controllers as you like and you will start to get a feeling for the one or two that you really like and you really feel comfortable with. Because, don't forget, you need time to get comfy with the controller that you've got in your hand. It's not a plug-in and you are the race master. Uh, no, you need to get adjusted. You need to know blindly what to expect from the controller and what to expect from you. So. A lot of testing, but that's what it's all about, and that's what the fun is all about to me. So stay tuned, we're going to look into that topic a little closer now. So here we are taking a look at different controllers. Um, this is one of the smoother ones I would say. It's called a Natey. Uh, it's got a very very soft trigger. It's got an extra box for the brake action um, that you can adjust here to maximum minimum and then adjust it again to stronger or not so strong. The trigger again itself is very 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 smooth and here in the front you can adjust the uh, sensitivity of the trigger and the response to the car itself. Staying with the all-rounders, this is a Professor motor. I'm sure everybody's aware of, everybody's seen it. I just added a full throttle relay to it, meaning that the electricity just goes into here, full throttle, the relay opens and the full electricity goes back into the track versus if I don't use it, it would go all the way to the controller and then all the way back. This is trying to shorten things. Um, maybe it's just a, a question of <laughs> of your uh, mental, how do you say? <laughs> well, for, forget about it. Um, <laughs> um, Professor Motor, very, very good one. Very good controller, very soft. It's still the old one with the um, diodes to be opened and to be closed per field in there. It's also, I set, up, is I set it up very smoothly. Um, it could be upgraded with, uh, I think uh, this is for, for brakes or throttle. 
I always mix it up, but one or the other. You, you could upgrade that controller. I didn't. Um, I use that controller for to borrow out for beginners if they want to try a different controller, high, higher sophisticated controller than the ones out of the start boxes from like various brands. I'm not going to mention any here. Um, but still good to use still very nice to drive again soft so especially for cars with uh, slippery tires rubber tires uh, polyurethane tires this is definitely a, one of the choices talking about choices this is definitely one of my favorite controllers the one i use most it is uh, a car steam controller it's a V1, which means version 1. Um, they upgraded the controller, but still, this is the one that I can use for any type of car. From HO to 32 to 24 to wing cars, you can use that controller. Um, it's got this little box here with uh, just electronics in it. Um, and this is what the handle looks like. You have... Uh, sensitivity here it's called attack you've got a so-called choke which means especially for cars that are very slippery again polyurethane rubber tires things like that if you want to accelerate out of the corners or if you do accelerate quite hard you can take some of the electricity out some of the punch out coming out of the corner um, and if you open it fully it will take a, away one volt from your track for from the power supply coming towards your controller and this is the well-known brake um, the controller again I set it up very smooth you don't hear any scratching um, the electronics in there is highly sophisticated I really love it and actually many many of my club colleagues use that controller we found that controller in one of the um, Deutsche Plafit Meisterschaft which is the German Plafit Championship that is unfortunately not uh, organized anymore it was a great European race over two days and the Danish guys had those those controllers and we tested it and we tried it and we ordered it right away right from the spot so really 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 a good controller now this is the so-called hints controller axel big shout out great build unfortunately he doesn't build those controllers anymore there is no box attached to that controller um it's got sensitivity here it's got brake here and it's got a general take it slower have it faster switch um, this is what the trigger band looks like it's also very very smooth the reason why I have my controller so smooth is I used to run 12 hours races and 24 hour races quite a lot all over Europe so that's why my controllers are always set up very soft so I can handle it for a longer period like driving times of one to one and a half to two hours constantly um, that's why I like to have my trigger like set up like this um, by the way I drive my controllers like this with a thumb as I'm still one of those old farts coming from Carrera controllers this is the way I operate my controllers yes you're right and we've got a few guys in our club still doing it that way I could do it with my second finger but believe it or not I'm slower about one to two tenths per lap so this is the hint not produced anymore unfortunately but great controller mainly for 24 cars faster ones like um, the scale outers with foam tires so more grip um, that's when I use it Now, now the last uh, controller I wanted to show you is my last purchase. It's an Oli slot controller. 
it's got a control box here that will show you the current that comes out of the track. You've got a fuse uh, in case you plug in wrong. That's why I marked mine, my plugs with plus, minus and brake. And you can adjust your brake setting here and you've got a maximum minimum brake setting here on the box. Here at this front knob again you can set up your sensitivity and the trigger is just as it's touchless. This is one of the smooth, smoothest that I have and you can change the resistance with different chips here. There are around six chips available or six or seven can't remember. I've got them in my slot box. Um, one of the softest triggers I have. Um, at the moment I'm still testing but I'm really starting to like it. I like it a lot. Um, I'm using it for um, 24 cars with a lot of grip at the moment but I'm still I'm testing and, and taking it down to the cars with uh, not so much grip on the track. Um, but that's when my car steam comes in and says <laughs> I can handle that better but hey that's just a mental thing I think so I'm trying to get used to this one it is a great controller no doubt about it and I really like it okay guys and girls hope you did like that quick preview it's just a few controllers available here in Europe it's not all by far not there are so many controllers out there and uh, yeah just keep testing try what you like best there is no the best controller. Keep that in mind. See ya!